do, 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 do. I really love this. This is, uh, if you guys want to look for it, this is Best of Living, uh, Uplifting Trance Mix, All-Time Favorites, number one. Just put that in your, uh, in, in your YouTubers and check it out. Shino Mac. I am here. How you doing, sweetie? I'm doing pretty good, doing pretty good. You know, just, uh, hanging out my insomniac self, so. <laughs> you yeah. know. Yeah, same here. You know, I, I just... You know, I just caught a bug up my ass. Just caught a bug up your ass. That's just, not, that doesn't sound good. Yeah, I, you know, it's just I see these comments. Oh my God, Chick Fil A equals uh, equals homophobic, homophobic. Like really? Yeah, yeah, I, I know what you mean. That's been going on for yes. Yeah, uh, the situation's going on for a while, though. I mean, social justice warriors really don't uh, they don't let up at any time. <laughs> at all yeah but, uh yeah i mean i i'm, I'm definitely not surprised they're still butthurt about that uh, like they but, just uh, they just opened they um chick-fil-a o opened a location an actual location in new york city on uh, october 3rd and it was met with a lot of fanfare people were lined up around the block to enjoy chicken I don't think I don't believe any person on that line or even on the line uh, during uh, Chick Fil A Appreciation Day gave a second thought about gay people and and whether or not they hated them or not. Oh no, I I, I think I, you're, you're definitely exactly right on that. And what's kind of interesting is just within the past month that Chick Fil A opened up in my town as well. And uh, I mean, I was gonna. I was like, you know, I'm gonna go try out Chick Fil A this evening and see how it is. But the line, like, they had, like, there were just so many people there that, like, when you like pull in, not even the parking lot, when you pull up to the part where it goes left to Chick Fil A and right to some other shitty restaurant. Yeah. Uh, like it was like they had to have like their employees out there, like guiding people into the drive-through and into the into the uh, parking lot. So yeah, I really don't think they're thinking about that too much. No. And when you, when you look at uh, the, I guess the proportionality. When it comes to like uh, Christianity, people that should that should be against gay marriage, um, most of those people shouldn't have been there. So I, I really don't think the thought of homosexuality like crossed their mind at all. That they're they just thought you know oh, it's a bit fucking chicken tonight, so I'm gonna go get some chicken. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But it's like everyone's making these jokes. Like I mean, and 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 you know, and I know a lot of comedians that listen, and they're gonna get pissed off because a lot of them are liberals. And not that I not that I jump in for that whole left right paradigm, but I'm considered I was I you know I was um you know I was on one of those dating apps and I'm not making a dating app joke so don't worry because <laughs> I hear everyone's like have you heard about Tinder? Is anyone doing online dating? Well, you know I'm just saying this part of the story. Uh, there was this lady she was and she was pretty. She says she was a nihilist. Um. Actually, hold on. Let me let me go, let me go and read this. Uh, what's that? What's that called? Uh, oh, okay, Cupid. <clears throat> yeah. Nihilist, huh? <laughs> yeah. Which I really got to start reading more because I'm not too sure what a nihilist is. Well, uh, I mean, f from my understanding, a nihilist is just everything is bad. You can't know anything. It's a it's a really pessimistic uh, philosophical outlook mm -hmm. on on the world. It's kind of like, well, we're all fucked anyways. Yeah, it's kind of how I see nihilism. Yeah. <laughs> and what was it? Sent me. Uh, by the way. Man, if she's a nihilist, she's not gonna have any out any positive outlook on her relationship. Wait, did she so. just did she block me? I think she blocked my ass. That's hilarious. Uh -oh. Oh well. <laughs> really? Damn. Oh well. Anyway, she was like, I don't know. I get. I want to say socialist, but I don't want to. Yeah. Oh well. Oh wait, no. It was. It was on Tinder. Never mind. Wrong, wrong app. <laughs> wrong, wrong fucking dating app. Like I try to, I try to like, uh, you know, hedge my bets. Wait, let me see. So, would you no. like a definition of nihilism? Yeah, go ahead. While, while, okay. while I, while I just 
put this show to a screeching halt so that way I could make a fucking point like a jackass. <laughs> That's, that's, that's definitely understandable. There's been yeah. plenty of times on air where I've been like, oh, shit, don't have this up. Let me find it real quick. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, you're, you're good. But nihil- nihilism is a philosophical doctrine that suggests the lack of belief in one or more reputedly meaningful aspects of life. The Greek philosopher mm-hmm. and sophist Gorgias is perhaps the first to consider the nihilistic belief. Most commonly, nihilism is presented in the form of existential nihilism, which argues that life is without objective meaning, purpose, or intrinsic value. Mm-hmm. So, uh, yeah, not a very positive outlook on life, to say the least. Damn. Well, uh, well that kind of reminds me of uh, this um, I, this lift ride I had, uh, I, t- I took. Um, earlier today, I was, do- I was running errands, um, you know, to get my, to pick up a suit that I was having taken in because your boy is shrinking. Um, shrinking? Shrinking. I'm shrinking. I'm trying to. I'm trying to get my sexy on. So I had to. So, you know, I'm on the complete opposite side of that. Uh, the, this beer gut's getting. It's getting to be something I have to deal with. So I guess we're working on opposites. <laughs> yeah, I, I gotta. I gotta lose weight if I'm gonna ever, you know, be viewed as someone with some fucking value. Apparently, uh, because you know, eh, I'm not gonna get into that. So, anyways. <laughs> Yeah, but you know, so you, so she called. She's like, "Oh well," because I said, "Well, I'm a libertarian conservative," which, like most people think, libertarian conservative, they think, uh, you know, of course they think like a stupid Republican. Oh, of course, yeah. And you know, me, I, you know, I, I'm the per. I, I, my personal belief is, I give no fuck what you do. I just don't want to pay for it. As long as you're not killing, not stealing, and not defrauding, what what you do with your life and what you want to do, as long as it's not hurting anybody else, is none of my damn business. No, and that, that, that that's exactly right, and that's the same position that I hold, especially like, uh, yeah. I mean, uh, for example, I'm against abortion, things like that. But when it comes to libertarianism, it comes, it's uh, it's you may or you may not. When it comes to authoritarianism, um, such as like the force integration, as far as like the Obergefell decision, uh, the one that made that uh, the Supreme Court ruling that uh, I guess legalized, uh, got to have the little birdies there, legalized mm-hmm. gay marriage across America. Um, authoritarianism is you can or it's, it's uh, you can or you can't. So there's 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 definitely a. Um, Definitely a difference there. Libertarianism. If you're not infringing on, uh, on me or my property, then I really don't give a shit what you do. Yeah. But, you know, as of course, you know, I, you know, since I do the comedy, and we spoke about this on your show, Liberty Under Attack, live Sundays. Correct. Yes. Okay. At uh, libertyunderattack.com. That's, that's, uh, that's, that's awesome on uh, 7 p.m. Eastern. So if you guys are listening, check him out. As I do the plug Ola. <laughs> I yeah. definitely appreciate it. <laughs> you know. Uh, yeah, it was it was fun doing your show. Yeah, it was it was definitely a good time. It was it was good to get away from. We've talked a, about it. We talk we we talk a lot about. Uh, um, very, uh, <laughs> I, I guess, very depressing grievances as far as uh, as as far as the state is concerned. I mean, so it, was so- definitely ni- it was definitely nice to get you on and kind of just I, I don't like no, no preparation, just kind of shoot the shit and have a good time. Yeah, so it was, I mean, it was really good to have you on and do that. Yeah, I mean, I talk about serious shit, but I I want to make fun of it. Like, I mean, I'm I'm doing I'm doing research right now. I'm basically refreshing myself on 9/11 conspiracy 101, mm-hmm. and because there's still a lot of people that have not seen Loose Change, have not even looked at it. They just mm-hmm. accept whatever they've been told, and that and 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 that's that's the one thing that I feel is really dangerous is once you accept. You just blindly accept what you've been told. Like, yeah, you know, that's, yeah, that's just how it is. Okay, go back. <sighs> All right, bye-bye. I'm done. And then you want to, and then you want to start, uh, do this slacktivist type crap when you uh, want to, you, they, they wanted to, pr- these people 
care more about anti-gay chicken than what the fuck is going on with Russia and possibly China jumping in and the start of World War Three. Oh yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. I mean, oh. yeah, I, I know exactly what you mean. That's <laughs> the uh, <laughs> prioritization is definitely is definitely off. Yeah, and uh, that's just definitely very evident. It's definitely definitely evident. Um, but yeah, as far as uh, as far as I guess you look at false flags, geopolitics, uh, things of that nature. Yeah, mm. they just they, they don't care. I mean, there, there's definitely a proxy war going on over the Middle East between uh, the United States and Russia. But uh, people don't want to think about that. That's too complicated. I mean, if you, it's it's much easier. It's much easier to just sink into like a, a a nice episode of Keeping Up with the Kardashians or something like that than to actually care about anything of actual importance. And I'm just gonna throw this out there. Look, um, I would bang Chloe, but I'm not. I I like. I don't care about her life unless she's sitting on my face. So I mean, I'm just. I'm, <laughs> that that's it. That's it. Otherwise, otherwise, I could give a shit. I don't follow them. If if one of them comes out like takes a picture of being naked, yeah, I'm gonna give it a look because I'm a dude. Oh yeah, oh yeah, definitely. But that's I don't watch the show. I don't know, you know, what toilet paper they use to wipe their ass. I don't know. I don't know if it's two ply, one ply, three ply, or the legendary six ply, <laughs> which I I believe feels like wiping your ass with a cloud. <laughs> you know what? I, I don't really pay attention to the toilet paper I use, so I, I, I really can't give you any opinion on that. Honestly, um, I use I use um moist towelettes, like those like wet wipes that bi- are biodegradable once you throw them in the toilet, because they they clean you better and and, and quicker. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah I'm, I'm sure they do. It's just when when it comes to like the bathroom, as long as there's a roll there, whatever it is. Oh, that's, that's just, why I, I that's why I carry like it with money. me. Yeah, I carry it with me. <laughs> oh, you, you have like a little goodie bag you carry with you. What do you what? like? Do you have like, like no, your the... toilet paper? Your uh... pretty much, pretty much. <laughs> your uh... <laughs> everywhere I go, I have I bring my own like ass wiping apparati because I'm 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 anal like that. See, I got uh, yeah, Ugh. sucks being a Virgo sometimes. So you like uh, take chapstick and uh, nail polish and things like that with you too? Well, no, not nail polish. Maybe maybe some chapstick because especially when the during the winter months, I hate I hate having you know a bloody lip because it's chapped so much that it cracks. It's it's just uncomfortable. Yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. Do you keep a dildo in there too? No, 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 no. No, okay, no, no. a flashlight. Oh, um, okay. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, enough. yeah, yeah. I don't penetrate myself yes. well hey it's just just a question i'm curious hey, i don't know well, why uh, <laughs> okay. so <laughs> so yeah i mean fag hating chicken hmm. i'm gonna fag eat this chicken i'm gonna i'm gonna hate this i'm gonna eat this i'm afraid to eat this chicken it's gonna turn me straight okay okay all right I mean that's that's how it that's how it is. I mean it's like this poor the the you know one person says something his own opinion. I keep I, why well, I keep repeating myself. No, you're right. you're on to, you're on to a good point. Yeah, you're definitely you're definitely on to a good point. And the issue here, I wrote an article about a week ago on mm-hmm. on Planned Parenthood, and uh, I, I I I don't follow the news cycle or anything like that. But whenever there's something when I see something on my fascist book news feed. Mm-hmm. That's just taking over. Like I, it's like you know, this will be good on the Google searches. So all right, I'll, what, what what I do is I put like two paragraphs of what's going on currently, and then um, the rest of it's like historical context and tying it into libertarianism. Mm-hmm. But the, the issue with like uh, you looking like when you look at uh, gay marriage, uh, um, abortions, anything like that, the the issue is that the that it's socialized on people that don't give permission to pay for it or mm-hmm. uh, things of that nature. So when it comes to, I guess, legislation, it's got to be paid for. It's yeah. got to be paid for. The enforcement, uh, all, all, all of those things. So Bernie, uh, Bernie Sanders will fix this. He will tax the shit out of uh, Chick-fil-A and give all the money towards um, 
gay friendly businesses so that way they could have an equal footing okay oh yes praise barney sandler's 2016 yeah bernie sandler's barney sandler's yeah i don't know i mean (laughs) like i and i'm trying to make a joke out of this but i think i just came out like if, like, because I, I, I said this on stage and it, it just sounded like I was pissed off. I was like, if you're gonna vote, if you're voting for Bernie Sanders, just quit comedy. Like, why are you even fucking here? You obviously don't want to succeed at anything. You don't want to work for anything. You just want shit handed to you. Like, you, you, like, don't you fucking people understand? Your goal here is basically to talk shit on stage. So that way people will pay you shit tons of money. So that way Bernie could tax you to shit. Get like 95% of, of, of your of pay that you worked hard for. Mm-hmm. To give it to, um, you know, some, some lazy motherfucker who is able-bodied to work but just chooses not to. And that's you. And that's what's gonna happen. And 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 people, oh, you know. Again, I mean, oh man, I'm just not gonna make it. <laughs> just, <I'm laughs> but that's 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 kind of the I guess the fun. Of, like, uh, there's not even a difference though when you when you look at Democrats. The the only difference between like uh, let's say Bernie Sanders and Hillary Clinton is that Bernie calls himself an open. So he's he's an openly avowed socialist. Yeah. Uh, there's not really much of a difference, if any at all, between uh, Bernie Sanders and, and Democrats in general. The, the, is- the issue at hand here, it's, mm. it's so fucking hilarious, but in, in one of those crude, humorous ways. But, like, America, with, like, I mean, you look at Greece and Venezuela, and, uh, I mean, the throughout history at the the failings of socialism and communism, mm. and Americans are just, just happy as shit to, to get free stuff. Or so they think. Yeah, who, they who is it? <laughs> who isn't? I mean, but what, like, honestly, when, when, if you own the building and someone stops paying rent, do you raise the rent of your other tenants so that way you could offset the loss of money and just let the person just, uh, you know, stay there and stink up the joint? Or do you kick them out and get someone that's going to pay? So that way, and, and, and people think, oh, well, you know, these landlords are greedy, and, you know, and I'm making a metaphor here, and it's not working, but, you no, know. No, that, that that's, that's a good metaphor. It's a good metaphor. You know, and, and, you know it's like, oh, oh these, uh, these, these fucking landlords are greedy. Okay, how much, you know, the money, the, the, the expenses, like, uh, you, you know, my grandmother, she owns a building, and she pays a sh- buttload of property tax. And it's and and it's and the way the city does it, it's not. They don't tax you on how much you earn from your property. They tax you on how much your property is worth. Mm. Which sounds stupid. Yeah, that sounds like the socialization of losses. That's for sure. I mean, and I understand. Some of that money goes to pay for the police and whatnot and blah, 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 blah. Because we're not allowed to have guns here. Yeah, yeah there's some strong gun control laws there in New York. Yeah, I do apologize for that. New York City, it's it's like... There's really no... And, and, I, and I talk about this and it's like... You know, again, trying to make this joke work, but... It's like, okay, you're gonna ban all these guns... And then look at the UK. Every eight minutes, someone's getting stabbed. So, what's next? You're gonna have to ban assault cutlery. Oh yeah, assault cutlery. Uh, yeah, plastic knives. Uh, yeah. Uh, I mean, uh, no. I mean, their their cars can't get repaired anymore because you gotta you have, you have to ban like every single one of those tools. Like yeah. Uh, you look at a hammer or a screwdriver, and yeah, those could be used as a weapon. And so, then I pretty mean, soon they're gonna have are... to shut down every UFC gym, every Tiger Showman's, because you can't have people 
like using their hands and feet as weapons. You might, you could kill somebody. Well, yeah, true, though. true, true. So let's just exterminate the human race, and we don't have to worry about. I mean, I mean, if we're gonna if we're gonna go from weapons to knives to plastic cutlery, I mm-hmm. mean, fists are a pretty good weapon, you know. Yeah, they're they're a pretty good pretty good weapon. You can definitely beat someone to death. So I mean, ban humanity. Just ban ban. <laughs> Might as well go ahead and ban some plants too. The the poisonous ones. Uh, yeah. Let's see. Uh, any animal with sharp teeth or claws that mm-hmm. could uh, kill somebody. I mean, just just ban it. Well, I mean, might oh, we- as well just nuke the entire world because nothing can survive if we're going to uh, look at. Uh... Oh, we we're, we're showing we showed those rhinos whose boss not didn't we? Oh, those fucking lions. We're showing them. We're showing them. How dare you? <laughs> oh wait, what what are we using to kill those lions and 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 uh, rhinos? Oh, guns. Oh shit. Oh, maybe they have a point. Well, uh, I'm sure. That, I'm sure. I'm sure. I'm sure. Some of those lions and rhinos have been killed by like knives or uh, I don't know poison. I mean, when you're talking about rhinos, you're talking about like uh, deep Africa and shit. So, yeah. I mean, there might be some like uh, poison bullets or something, poison darts. So, uh, ban all the things, and everything. Everyone will be safe all the time. Yep. It's and really, and, and you know, and I hear. And I hear, I, 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 actually, I haven't, like, I mean, I've heard the car, counter argument. I can't remember the counter argument. But we don't focus on treating mental illness. I mean, everyone's so worried about banning all these guns, but no sane person goes in and st- uh, just randomly stabs, starts randomly stabbing people. That That's, or, or shooting people, or whatever. Mm-hmm. You know, and and that includes crimes of passion. I believe that that's like a mental break. Like people just can't handle their shit after you know being emotionally harmed, so they figure let's get a gun and take them out. But yeah. le- you know, I mean, and I know, I know, and I know the conspiracy theories about Sandy Hook that there no there no one actually died. Well, and see that I mean that's yeah. <clears throat> I I used to be uh, um, like uh, all I used to focus on was conspiracies, but I mean you look at e- even from my perspective now, you can look at these shootings and see that uh, um, they all have they obviously all, all have mental issues. Yeah, um, they, they definitely do. Well, whether like if you look at like let's compare something like to here to like uh, from the United States to like Britain, mm-hmm. you look at. Uh, um, if someone wants to do something terrible, they're going to find a way to do it. Yeah. Now, if you ban guns, they're going to use knives. I mean, you well, have me. I've I've seen probably I, I don't pay attention to the news cycle, but I don't know. In the past year, I've seen like three headlines come across fascist book that uh, talk about like mass stabbings, like twenty two dead. You can't. You cannot take the. Like, if First someone of all, wants to do it. You, it, you it, the weapon. The weapon will come, whether it's guns or knives or fists or whatever it may be. And and first of all, this, if you got killed by a knife in 2015, you're an asshole. Because uh, <laughs> there's so many... Wait, wait, you don't think to pick up a chair? Oh, yeah. Everything is a weapon, pretty much. Like, you can use, like, a coffee cup as a weapon, or, I don't know... Uh, like, start, to, yeah, start flinging shit. Yeah, exactly. Anything can be a weapon, and that's that's why it's so absurd for these... Uh, anti uh, these leftist anti gun pussies yeah. for them to think well, I mean obviously I, it, w- when you look at the the logic of the left there's there's no logic there so uh, th- they don't look mm. at uh, what's going on to I mean you you don't have to look at history mm. n- not even history you don't have to be a history buff to know any of this you just look at what's going on around the world and you say well you know guns are banned in this country but there's still mass stabbings yeah but that's completely different because that's not guns. If it, it, the issue here we have is, is is guns. I mean, if people people use knives, we don't care about those. We just want the guns gone because. Well, I I said this joke uh, last year when uh, in Phil, uh, a in a town outside of Philadelphia, twenty two people were stabbed. In, oh, a, in Philadelphia, a, yeah, in a high school hmm. outside of Philadelphia in a high school, and I said no one thought to throw a chair at this motherfucker. Like, how big of an asshole have to you be just to stand there and, like, get stabbed? Like, oh, shit, oh, shit. Like, 
like I, I, I'm, I mean, I, how, how, how hard is it to disarm someone? I don't think it can be hard. Like, even it, it, it really like, isn't. If, it really isn't because I like I took Krav Maga. Okay. And someone tried to stab me, and at the time, I my I I had a fucked up knee. All I had was my cane. And this dude, this dude tried to stab me. I blocked the knife, took the knife out of his hand, knee them in the balls. You know, it's not like it's a gun where, you know, get the fuck out the way. And the only way to, like, disarm him is you got to get, re you got to charge at the dude like that Marine did. Mm -hmm. And you might get shot, but, you know, it, it's... I don't know. You, you, if I had a chair, I could have beat the crap out of him with a damn chair. I'm, I'm all about yeah. the chairs. I'm all about using chairs, like the like the BET Awards. Just start flinging shit like a gorilla. <laughs> so what, what? So what do you have? I, I mean, uh, um, obviously in New York City, guns are banned. So what do you have? Like just like thirty seven chairs that can be launched at the ready, just like around you at all times. Oh no, I just I just walk around with a steel chair like this is WWE just like just wishing somebody fuck with me. Oh, okay. So so instead of like having like a <clears throat> like you know they have those uh mm. backpacks with like the kids in them. You just have like a, a steel chair on like on your back when you're walking around? Yes. Okay. Just I'm just hey, ready. Self um, I mean I am all for self defense. So whatever it takes. Yeah, you know? I do. Yeah, cause cause yeah, I mean what what what's a cop gonna say? Why are you carrying a chair? I just unfold it and sit on it. I'm like, look, I I just need to relax sometimes. Yeah, I mean I I've got a bad heart. I need to sit. I I, I have a chair so I can sit down. Is yes. That okay? Is that okay? You got a problem with that? I can't fucking sit. There you go. Yeah, that's yeah, that's that's a very very inconspicuous weapon. Oh uh, crap. Okay, I'm going down Facebook right now. Steven Seagal thinks mass many mass shootings are engineered by the government. True. But I wish he wasn't saying it. Well, I, I mean as as far as mass shootings in America go, um and I think I I don't think I got to this point, but uh yeah, most most of uh, I guess Probably ninety percent of the sh the mass shooters we see are on these uh, um, SSRIs and the these uh, anxiety drugs, and uh, mm -hmm. I I mean I, I I'm not a conspiracist, but I am against big pharma because uh, yeah for, for for a lot of reasons. But regardless, yeah, most of the shooters they have mental issues. Like the fact that they're on those drugs at all shows that they have mental issues. They are a reflection of the entire society. Mm -hmm. You know. Yeah, it's. I mean. <laughs> You know, of course, I'm the conspiracy not here, but you, you, I mean the shooting in Colorado uh, a couple years Aurora. back. Yeah. Aurora. I mean, he his doctor was a uh, you know Navy man. He was part of the. Oh God, why am I having a brain for? Oh yeah, because it's four in the morning. Um. You know, he was part of the. Uh, oh God. Fuck it. Let me just. Uh, let me just Google it. Aurora shooting. Um, okay, let me see what's his name. Oh, James Holmes. Mm-hmm. Yep, James Holmes. James Holmes. See, this is this is why you know I know go people hate Google, but Google ha is is such a good tool to use if when you use it. Yeah, they spy on you. Yeah, they collect. Oh yeah, and that's uh. uh yeah, I mean, I, I I use DuckDuckGo as much as I can, but the Google search is, uh, yeah, Google is the best search engine. It sucks that they spy on you, on sh spy on you and shit, but uh, that's why you use encryption, boys and girls. <laughs> uh, yes. I mean, I use Linux. I, I run Linux. Not because I want to hide so much as I, I just like free shit. Yeah, that's that's true. But I mean, I mean, I, I'm still working up to Linux. I, I don't have a lot of time to deal with the technological technological shit. But uh, I do use uh, like Tor and uh, PGP and things like that. Just, I mean, I, it's 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 not uh, unbreakable, so to speak. But uh, as long as uh, the folks in the NSA are working hard to get my shit, that's mm -hmm. <laughs> that's why I use it at least. Yes. Okay, who was... Okay...
Like, oh man. Oh, the tea party is racist. It's, it's so easy to just call people, like, just accuse people being racist, homophobic. So easy. Just throw that out. Don't need to fucking prove it. Just because they say one thing, like, it, like I get, I get accused of being a racist. I mean, do I, do I say the N word? No, not because I'm conscious of it. It's just so. It's just too easy. Yeah, and 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 the, like the terms racist or misogynist or any yeah. any of patriarchal patriarchal or whatever terms they they try to use. It's it's not because people actually are. I've been called a, a muzzy sympathizer, sympathizing with Muslims, which is kind of funny because I'm athe an atheist. But mm -hmm. uh, like the, those terms are used as trial, super, just uh, concluding for the day for psychiatry. Oops. Sorry. Okay. It's, it's all good. But yeah, the, yeah, those terms are just used as pejoratives and to, to deter the conversation. People don't actually want to talk about race or gender or anything like that. It's just when you get those terms tossed at you, it's it's not because you are that. It's because it's an easy way to shut down the conversation. Mm hmm Okay, what was that name of that program the Navy had to uh, to create, like, killers? What was that called? To create killers? Yeah. Uh, there was uh, MK Ultra. Ah, there we go. Is that it? Yeah. Yeah, there. Yeah, there. There were a few of them. Yeah, a few of those programs. In fact, um, there's a movie came that came out with um, Christian Stewart and James uh, Edelberg, I think. Where it's uh, wait, American is it American Ultra. Yeah, yeah, it was called American Ultra. Oh wow! I should have I should have watched it. Now that I thought about it, okay. A small town stoner, Mike Howell, Jesse Eisenberg, spends most of his time getting high and writing a graphic novel. What Mike doesn't know is that he was trained by the CIA to be a lethal killing machine. When the agency targets him for termination, his former handler activates his latent skills, turning the mind ma mild mannered slacker into a deadly weapon. Now the otherly surprised Mike must use his newfound abilities to save himself and his girlfriend from getting smoked. Sounds a lot like a Manchurian Candidate. Came out in, I think, early 2000s, 2002, yeah. 2000, 2003. And of course <clears throat> they made, like, see, my, conspir my conspiracy senses are telling me, you know, hey, this is just another way that they they uh, call, they, they admit to doing what they're doing, but then... You know, wrap it up in something ridiculous. Like, see? <laughs> yeah. And they name yeah, it American it Ultra? Hmm. Yeah, I mean, uh, as far as MK Ultra goes, most of those files, obviously, they didn't declassify all of them, but most of those files are declassified. Uh, and, and there's definitely some, uh, and they, they usually do that, like, 50 years later, like, people are like, well, that happened in the 40s, that doesn't have any impact on me. Mm -hmm. And it's like, well, if it happened in the 40s, then a lot worse shit's happening now, but uh, they don't have that, uh, <laughs> they don't have the ability to process information like that, unfortunately. Well, they do, but mm -hmm. they just don't use it. But, uh, yeah, I mean, Manchurian Candidate was definitely interesting. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, like, uh, a lot of people say... That uh, Obama is some sort of a Manchurian candidate, which is kind of comical in, in a sense. But uh, the the movie Manchurian Candidate, they uh, kind of they had like a trigger word they would say to this. Uh, he was running for president. He became president, if I remember correctly. Mm -hmm. But uh, they would like trigger him with a word. Yeah. And he'd go back in a lab, and they'd insert like a chip into his brain, and then he would go off and say what they wanted him to say. But uh, um, as far as Manchurian Candidate thing goes, that's seems a little i mean uh they don't need that technology now they have uh social media and uh the uh corporate corporate news mm -hmm. they they don't need that shit anymore i mean there's there's a lot of uh conspiracies and, and shit like that but they they don't need all of that i mean you you send out one you uh, a major news network sends out one tweet and it's pretty much transferred all over the world yeah I mean, you can just kind of, uh, you can just like, uh, t like a ABC reporter could tweet something like, uh, 35 Christians burned in Israel. And everyone would just reshare that and everyone would be pissed at Israel or be pissed at whoever killed Palestine. the Christians. Yeah, Palestine or whatever. 
Yeah, there's there, there's no follow up on the research or anything like that. It's just whatever what, like whatever ten yeah. word like clip comes across their news feed, they're just like, oh yeah, that's what happened. Yeah, I'm against this now. Yeah, because no one no one will no one takes the time or has the time to actually dig deeper. Yeah, that's the or yeah, use that's, the that's or use true. the go, or you know go into like foreign news and use the Google Translate and you know do a little work. Oh yeah, but people people already work. Why would they want to do more work? Yeah, I mean this is this is this is what I do because a lot of times uh, a lot of MRAs because I'm a member of a lot of men's rights groups mm-hmm. on Facebook. They'll take this one story, and you know they'll start spreading it around like see see, and then I I fact check it, and I realize it's a fake story, and then I'm trying to like bust my ass trying to like this is a fake story this is not real take this down this ain't this this didn't happen like there's this uh chick uh i forgot her name but she made a she made a video talking about how she was drowning and she she's now gonna sue her rescuer for rape i don't know if you've seen that really video. yeah and when I saw the video, I immediately knew it was a joke. She is she, that the person that made this is anti-feminist, and she was doing she was doing satire on how stupid feminists sound, how everything is rape. She she said save rape. Um, I was trying to get her on the show, but I, I think she was sticking to characters saying, "Oh, you need to pay me." Like pay you? Yeah, it's it's, it's either like, "Well, how much are you gonna pay me?" Or it's, uh, "Well, how many YouTube subscribers do you have?" Yeah. Cassidy Boone is her name. Cassidy Boone. Okay. Cassidy Boone. In fact, hold on. Let me let me get let me see let me play it for y'all. Save rape. It's. I mean. I, I started laughing immediately because um, here it is. Hi guys, my name is Cassidy Boone, and today I'm going to be talking about something like really important. It's really. I mean, immediately when you're watching this video, she's wearing a low cut shirt like a lot of feminists do when they're making videos trying to bash men. They got their titties showing. So, I mean, and, and you could hear her tone. I, I think maybe because I do comedy, I, I could recognize it immediately. But, you know, it, this, this is satire. This is pure satire. Hard for me to talk about this. And I've only told a few people. But I feel like it's my responsibility to spread awareness because this sort of thing happens every day. <laughs> Some of you may have already read the article that I wrote about this the other day but I wanted to make a video because it just felt so much more personal and I thought it would get the message across a little better so anyway a few weeks ago I almost drowned I was at this lake having my first swim of the summer there is this like jumping platform thingy that everybody was jumping off so I thought what the hell I might as well try it too it looked like fun Apparently, I hit my head on the way down, and I was knocked unconscious. I woke up lying on my back, back up on the platform, with a whole bunch of people standing around me, and this weird 40-year-old something, 40-year-old guy, like, pressing down on my chest. At first, I had no idea what was going on, but then the man who had revived me told me that I had been underwater for almost two minutes. He said that he had been lucky to get a hold of me down there. A small part of me was happy to be alive, but the rest of me was screaming inside. I can't believe he just felt that he had the right to just grab me under the water while I was knocked unconscious. I wasn't able to consent. He thought it was perfectly okay to just grab my body and pull me in whatever direction that he pleased. He possessed my body, and he grabbed my waist and pulled me around down there like it was his right, like he wanted to fucking have sex with me down there in the water. 
fucking aquatic sex. <laughs> I feel so violated. I mean, can, am, do you hear it? Aquatic sex. Aquatic sex. Like, come on. Like, and I'm reading the comments. I'm like, you motherfuckers, get the joke. God, man. <laughs> get the fucking joke. Is like, you're a cunt. This bimbo. Like, they're taking it serious. And, I mean, I'm more offended that the pe these people are offended. Like, I hear the satire. This is satire. Cassidy Boone, I mean, I she's a genius. I, I'm just gonna throw it out there. Genius. This is this is this is perfect satire. And people are making response videos to curse her out. And this is the most fantastic troll I have ever seen. Yeah, it's definitely comical. It, it is comical. It is. It is, and I, 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 I am positive she is. She is. Uh, this is a joke, and she's really good at sticking to character, which, which I can respect as a performer myself. But, but, <laughs> but the sad thing is, uh, it wouldn't surprise me if she wasn't just playing a role if she was serious. That's what's sad. <laughs> Hey, come on, aquatic. She wanted to have aquatic sex. Like, oh, the he, hold on. Let me let me play the rest of this. I mean, <laughs> I can't believe it. He raped me. <laughs> so now I'm suing him for rape for what he did to me. Yeah, sure. He saved me from drowning, but it doesn't excuse what he did to me down there. If we excuse people like this, it is a fast and slippery slope before we start excusing people like child molesters and murderers. <laughs> he raped me. He put his hands on me without my consent, and by definition, that is rape. Mm -hmm. I know a lot of you misogynists are going to be like, well, her dear, he saved your life. You should be grateful. And yeah, I mean, it was a nice thing to do, saving my life and all, but he still raped me. If I, as a woman feel that I have been raped, I've been raped. End of discussion. Period. If you don't realize that you're a rape apologist, you're part of the problem. When I told Jim, that's the guy's name, that I was suing him for rape, he broke down. He cried and cried because he was thinking about what his family was going to have to go through. It was really empowering to see him become a total wreck. Because... <laughs> C come on like i'm suing suing for rape no that's a goddamn criminal offense that's a criminal like, uh, that, <laughs> that's a felony offense like there's no suing involved like there's yeah. no restitution like uh, honestly well you can i mean you know you you can sue for damages after he's been convicted of the a crime after yes that's yeah. true but right. the, you've got to take that extra step there's just no there's restitution isn't guaranteed so to speak yeah but I, like I mean, I mean, come on, this is satire. This is, this is satire. This whole thing is ridiculous. This, this is not. This is not. She's not serious. She she can't be. She she really can't be. Like when she was like, yeah, he saved my life, but he had. I didn't give him permission to put his hands on me, and it's like, what the shit? You're alive. <laughs> So yeah, I I I definitely uh, think that is satire because well yeah it, it has to be satire. I don't I don't think the uh, SJWs can even make an make an argument or a case for that. It's like well you you're alive to spout this shit, so it must be okay. Like I and and I'm just <laughs> like you you hear you have to hear. I guess you hear my voice. I'm like I'm dumbfounded. You say you're a feminist, but wearing a provocative top, uh, because feminism has nothing to do with what kind of clothing you wear. Uh, okay. I hope you get charged with false rape accusation. She's not making a fucking accusation. This is, oh, God. Like, I'm kind of embarrassed that she's exposed to stupidity on both sides. Oh yeah, she yeah, she's she's probably 
she's probably uh definitely uh taking you know both sides of that. Uh, it reminds me of uh, I mean with what she's kind of what this this lady is satirically referencing is uh, rape culture and mm. things like that. And uh, it's kind of funny. I, I am not a fan of uh, Lauren Southern because she's still a reformist. She's running for LP. Oh, so L- well, I've, LP ac- I've actually had her on this show. You actually? Oh, you've actually had Lauren Southern on this show. I had Lauren Southern on this show. Uh, yeah, I, I, I like Lauren Southern. I really do. I, yeah. I, I really, I, I like her. Don't backpedal. Her more don't than what I don't. No, I'm not backpedaling. Back- no, no, no. Don't I'm not backpedaling. I like what she did when it came, when it came to her stance on like the slut walk thing up yeah. there in Canada. She was fantastic. She 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 definitely was. I'm not going to deny that. Um, but uh, I'm against the Libertarian Party for other reasons. But uh, <clears throat> yeah, she she did she did something uh, great there, and it got uh, it it kind of pushed the it pushed the boundaries of political correctness. So I, I'm definitely glad that she's she's doing what she's doing as far as like anti feminism goes. Yeah, I mean, look. No one's saying rapes don't happen. It's just that most men find that shit repugnant. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, like I don't like. I, it, it's it's on my bucket list. If if I see if I'm walking around in my neighborhood and I see a woman in the process of getting raped, I you know I'll kill the motherfucker. I run in, you know. I it's disgusting, and I'm not gonna do it for the for the uh, 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 for for the sex, for the reward sex. No, I do that because I feel that shit is disgusting and it shouldn't exist. But you know, not but people like oh well, you know, don't blame the victim. Well, you know what? Don't get mad at me if I if if I find. If, if I find holes in your story, mm-hmm. or if I want, or I want this shit investigated thoroughly before we start throwing people in jail, or willy nilly, yeah. And it, it, I mean, I'm sorry if this person really raped you. I'm sorry, but there is a thing called due process. Yeah, yeah, there definitely is. Uh, it's uh, unfortunately in this country, it's guilty until pre- guilty until proven innocent at this yeah. point. Um, but yeah. uh, as far as rape culture goes, people don't really understand this. Even the feminists, mm-hmm. a rape culture means like rape is okay. Like it's like a culture that's okay with waving the American flag. Yeah, like people aren't going to get pissed about someone waving the American flag. When it comes to rape culture, like we're looking at some of the shit that goes on in the Middle East or even Africa. Yeah. When like uh, it's in it's w- within the legislation, where it's like, well, yeah, it's okay to rape this person, mm-hmm. and you aren't going to face charges for it. And when they do it, they don't face charges. Here in America, uh, I, I I dislike the uh, government for a lot of reasons, but regardless, it's not an openly accepted thing that's going on in this country. Like if you just walk up to me and say, "Oh yeah, I, I raped a girl last last Thursday," you might get punched are, in the face. They aren't going to react nicely. They are not going to. And, I mean, even to, to even uh, go back to its logical conclusion, you aren't going to say that anyways because you know that you're going to get fucking, you're going to get the sheep shit beat out of you if you're out of prison or in prison. Yeah. When it comes to, like, uh, shit against women and children in prison, even those motherfuckers don't like that. Yeah. There's no rape, co- and I will parrot Lauren Southern's uh, poster. There is no rape culture in the West. There is not. A rape culture means an acceptance. And there is no acceptance of rape in the Western world. You face prison time for that shit. That's it. That's if the family members of the dude, uh, of the people don't get to you. Can you explain upon that? Uh, okay, well, let's say a, fam- a female family member says you got ra- uh, that she got raped. What is your first instinct to do? Find the motherfucker, oh. kick the shit out of him, possibly beat him to death. That yeah, is, def- yeah, definitely. That is in that is in our DNA. I mean, I believe I believe that is in our DNA. I mean, I know I would do it. That is the first reaction. It's like, 
it's like, where is this motherfucker? And where we're, you know, and, and how we're going to get away with disposing his body. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Like, it's happened, that's, it's that's, happened to that's... me. I was falsely accused of rape. I, I've said this story on this show. When I was 19, I was dating this, this chick. She didn't tell me she was a lesbian. Um, she was she was using me as a cover to like caught her making out with her fr- her supposed best friend, aka girlfriend. Mm-hmm. And instead of risking me telling her family who loved me, by the way, why we broke up and telling them the truth, she told them I raped her. And they all whoop my ass. And they yeah. and they dragged me to the police station. She ended up having to recant because she was like, "Oh, he he came inside me." All right, good. There's evidence. Let's get a rape kit. Well, you know, she ended up recanting, and they ended up accepting. They, she she got my ass kicked for nothing. Yeah, yeah, and I mean that's that's. <clears throat> and I get we're, we're on the same page here. the The point is that. Uh, Rape is not an accepted thing no. in the West. There is no such thing as a rape culture, and any SJW that tells you differently is a fucking retard, or she is just—I don't know. She wants to. F- she wants to be involved in something. She wants to do something good. Yeah, that's that. That's it. But the, there is no rape culture in the West. Like as Louis just said, hey, it doesn't matter whether you're innocent or guilty. The acu- accusation itself carries. Uh, uh, it carries punishments regardless of your guilt or innocence. Yeah. It's a bad deal. It's definitely yeah. a bad deal. Yeah. The SJWs I mean, are doing a lot of terrible shit. Yeah. I and they're mean, using government you... violence to do it. So. Yeah. <laughs> and ahead, it's the same type of, and to bring it back to the original topic, is the same type of people that will demonize food and demonize the people eating food. Saying you hate gay people because you eat chicken. Yeah, yeah, it comes back full circle. It definitely yeah. does. I mean, it's, it's it's not a one topic issue. It's yeah. pretty much everything. So yeah, you're so exactly ba- right. So basically, social justice warriors can, if I could say, worse than AIDS. Completely worse than AIDS. In fact, I would rather have AIDS than be a fucking social justice warrior. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> I mean, AIDS is there to stay. The SJW has come back over and over and over again. <laughs> yeah. I would rather lose a, a lose more weight than I'm losing now because because I I earned another fucking disease than deal with than 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 be called a, a social justice warrior like like this episode of South Park. Let this. Uh, did you catch this week's episode of South Park? They're still, they're still on that. Uh, uh, uh you know, uh, that kick. Uh, sorry. Mm. Why am I tired? Oh wait, it's a quarter to five in the morning. Ugh. So, <laughs> like, why am? Why is this happening? Oh yeah. It's just. I mean, social justice warriors are just fucking hateable. It's like the it's and it's just people that have never had to really de- they they didn't have fathers. They didn't have fathers. And and let me let me explain. When I was when I was growing up, I got bullied in school. You know what my father told me? Don't come back until you kick their ass and send them to the hospital. If you if you don't if you, if you don't kick the ass, I'm kicking your ass. Now now that's considered bad parenting. Yeah, yeah it is. <laughs> like my father made me fight. Like, like and that's and that's why and that's who these social these are sissified kids that don't believe sticks and stones will break your bones. Words will never hurt me. It's all the and they do it from the safety behind their computers. They got no heart. That's the annoying part. They have absolutely no fucking heart, no fucking backbone. And they want to be taken seriously. 
Yeah, yeah, they they definitely do, they definitely do, and it's uh it's it's very sad. And this is even, I mean, dictate um, how people should live their lives. It's like, who the fuck are you paying my bills? Are, oh, so I, I mean, I've dealt I've dealt with that type of thinking when I started this show. Everyone wanted to tell me how to do 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 my show, how what direction to do it. Mm-hmm. Did anyone put in one goddamn red cent for me to uh, produce it or help me with the graphics or anything? Nope. Yet they feel they could control what I do. That's yeah. That's another good point. I had a lady tell me to remove a uh, zip file download from my side because it was dangerous. I had another. Uh, and this actually is document they appear on chat forever, which is nice, but uh just uh ridiculous accusations and things of that nature but uh uh i mean it's it's, it's definitely comical to see these people try to um i mean uh um uh we definitely cover different stuff, Louis, but we deal mm. with the same shit yeah uh and unfortunately it's from different people i i have i get a lot of shit from the patriots and you get a lot of shit from the s j w s uh, well, I get I get shit from Patriots too. I went when I went after Luke Rakowski, I was catching shit from other nine eleven truthers. I was catching you, you know, no one like no one likes my methods. <laughs> no, uh, but same here, man. Same yeah. here, but yeah, good. <laughs> yeah, it's like me. I just I come from a place. I'm just like I'm tired, tidy. I'm I don't give a fuck. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do it my way. So, which is that? That that's your free speech to do. But unfortunately, uh, social justice warriors like to. Uh, they like to uh, make the make their speech legal. But anyone that says anything bad against them, with even with documentation, like hey, the gender wage gap is a fallacy. Mm -hmm. uh, even things that are true, it's like, well, if they say anything bad about our movement. Then we're going to send him into prison because that's our right. And it's like, no, it's not your fucking right. It's not. Oh, maybe, maybe only in Canada. Maybe, maybe only in Canada. I don't know for sure, but I mean, it's it's definitely a possibility because I mean, you uh, don't even have to. You don't even have to say anything mean. Oh, you gotta say simply, I disagree. And I'm har I'm being harassed. Like, he disagreed with me. I am being raped. Yeah. No, you aren't. <laughs> but uh, the courts might agree with you, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah. Just. Uh, I'm trying to find that story. But yeah, somebody actually did time for disagreeing with a feminist in, in Canada. And he. Um, like, even comedy. There was this comic. Uh, a chick was heckling. And he shut her down, and he had to pay a twenty-five thousand dollar fine for shutting her down. She was. Are you kidding me? Yeah. She, well, no. God, man, these. And I, I will side with Christopher Campbell on this because I mean, I he's been inconsistent in the past six or seven months, but uh, he has been on the social justice warrior thing, and I agree with him one hundred percent. There, not only are are, are these social justice warriors. Uh, um, I guess uh, <clears throat> gaining the uh, judicial branch of uh, the American government, but uh, they're also redefining the English dictionary. Uh, it was uh, the University of Tennessee, I think. They removed the post, but you can still find archives of mm -hmm. it and, and things of that nature. There's, it's actually linked in uh, one of my previous articles. But uh, yeah, like they were trying to like gender neutral pronouns and things. I, we talked about this, Louis, when I had you on. Yeah. But they were they were trying to uh, redefine the English fucking language like it's uh, instead of calling someone a he or she, it's Z or Z. Yeah. And the difference between that is X E or Z E. So like gender neutral pronouns. It's it's completely fucking outrageous, and it really really annoys me. Like okay, like you you want freedom, you want to do these things, whatever, fuck it. But when you're using government violence to push these upon everybody, yeah. that's where I have an issue. I'm sorry. I will. I will not comply. I won't comply. I won't either. I will like, tolerate, but I won't accept. Yeah. I mean, here, here's the here's the article here from the Huffington Post. A uh, British Columbia Supreme Court judge has upheld a ruling from hu from a human rights tribunal awarding more than twenty two thousand dollars to a lesbian 
after a comedian insulted her at a restaurant. Comedian Guy Earl and restaurant owner Salam Ishmael um, appealed the tribunal ruling that said that the discriminating against Lorna Party when Earl unleashed a uh, torrent of homophobic insults during a, a 2007 comedy show. First of all, if you're gonna fucking heckle, like I, I, and and this is shit that that I've that I've seen that that you know it's the bane of every comedian's existence. People want to talk to you while you perform. Shit that they won't pull out of play or in a movie theater. Mm -hmm. They want to do during a comedy show. Like, shut the fuck up. And yeah. and if and if you if you don't like what the comedian's doing. Walk, quietly walk the fuck out. You, but these people want to make it about them, and then you you know these people like you you're interrupting them working. You're interrupting them perform their art. And yeah, and, yeah, and I get pissed off, like especially you know because to 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 perform comedy you have to like you get yourself in a cadence. You get yourself in a rhythm. And it's boom, 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 boom. Da, 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 da. And it derails you. So then now you gotta deal with this loud mouth bitch thinking she's the she's the queen of the queen of the sorry people. And she's like, Oh, you have no right to talk to me like that. You you have no right to fucking interrupt me doing shit. Oh, that doesn't matter. That it, it n no one cares. No one seems to care. Everyone wants to, you know, be a dick. Pretty much to people. Yeah, and you know what I have to say to that? Mm -hmm. Look at South Park for the last, what, 25 years. Yeah. They have been, at least within the past three or four years, they have been destroying anything political correctness. They have been outside of all of those boundaries that have been, that have been placed by society because people will get butt hurt. Louie, keep doing what you're doing. Yeah, you're gonna you're 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 gonna face some some very very fucking terrible criticism and things like that. I've felt them. I've felt we. I mean, <laughs> he, us here at Liberty Attack Radio got those within the first two weeks of our show. I uh, had 130 emails uh, that for, for the following morning. But uh, oh, really? About about the show we did? No, 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 not about the show we did. No. But just w within the, it was like mm -hmm. the second or third broadcast we ever did, mm -hmm. and we, I like, we pissed off someone so much where I received 130 emails in one evening, and that's not counting the Facebook me messages I got while I was on the air. But uh, uh, we're gonna get, I mean, Louis, I, I, I really, I, I definitely give you credit for what you're doing. You're, you're open about the political. You're, you're definitely against political correctness. Uh, all of the shit that's going on uh, as far as the SJWs, I definitely uh, credit you for that a lot. Yeah. I mean, really, I definitely because... do. It's 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 definitely not easy. Yeah, no, uh, it, it really isn't, especially in this climate. Like, mm -hmm. I, you know, if Bill Hicks or, or um, Sam Kinison were just starting out today, they wouldn't make it because everyone feels like they are so fucking pure. They, no one's pure. I'm sorry. No one's a pure heart. No one's pure hearted. I, no, we've all we've all fucked up. And I, and I know you're an atheist, but the last per, pure person I believe was Jesus. And I know you're an atheist, so you don't have to agree with me, and that's fine. And I, not, I from, from what I've heard about, uh, um, from what I've from what I've heard about Jesus from the folks that follow the bible and not to piss anybody off which i think that's kind of the point of your show but mm -hmm. um as far as people that follow the follow the bible and what jesus said I, I i can't disagree with any of it i just i'm just someone that really depends on empirical and yeah uh, empirical evidence and things of that nature so um so yeah i mean i i, I can't disagree with you i'm sorry mm. go ahead though that's all right but you know it's it's everyone everyone acts like Oh my God, my virgin! Please, you probably say a lot worse. You just want attention. You wanna, 
you want people to pat you on the back. Oh my God, you're such a nice person. You're such a nice person. You don't say that word. Oh my God. It's the victim mentality. Yeah. I mean, me, I, I've, I've screamed nigger before. Like, I've gotten so fucking pissed off at somebody that, you know, I didn't say it to be racist. I said it because I want to say the most hurtful shit to someone that's pissed me off. Mm-hmm. And, you know, and, and that's the and that's what these social justice warriors, these PC cops... Are, are are in danger of taking away you you you're 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 making you're making you're gonna make the world a dangerous place if people are not allowed to be honest yeah yeah it's it's, it's already a dangerous shit place uh mm. here in america you may not see it as much but uh mm. three thousand murder <laughs> three thousand uh civilians murdered by cops in the past two years is quite a, a staggering figure but uh, you may not see it, like, if you look at the Middle East, you may not see, like, all of this shit happening. Like, yeah. you, you may see, you may not be able to see what's, you may not be able to see what's right in front of your eyes. But when you look at, uh, as far as, like, political correctness goes, this is a guy, this is a definitely a dangerous place to, it's a definitely a, a dangerous place to go. Um, there have been people that have posted stuff on Facebook. Um, that have been in line with, it, as far as, like, uh, not inciting violence and just kind of like state like speaking their mind as what's supposed to be guaranteed by the first amendment yeah but th they're still locked up because of a facebook post and it's 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 honestly insane it is it, it, it's it's truly truly insane and this cultural marxism that's what it is we're facing with political uh, political correctness it is cultural marxism because when it comes to uh, karl marx karl marx was the one that uh uh, founded uh, uh, conflict theory. When when it comes to this sort of thing, it, it's not to make everyone better off. It's to bring everyone down to a certain level mm -hmm. so that everyone can be equal. When yeah. it comes to equality, there is no equality. There is none. Reason being, the way you you propagate this equality is you bring down the folks that are entrepreneurs. You bring down the folks that... Uh, um, believe in true freedom, <laughs> um, folks like that. Um, some people can't live up to that. I mean, um, you look at uh, um, um, not evolution, but uh, you look at like uh, natural selection, and some people just like when you look at uh, um, the um, when you look at some of the, those statistics, some people just aren't as good as others. That's just how it is. Yeah. And when it comes to this cultural Marxism, and it kind of boils down, the only way to make people equal is to bring down those that are actually producing in society. Yeah. So it's 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 a completely bad situation yeah. every way you look at it. There's no such thing as equality as far as these SJWs see it. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it, it, and what what you end up doing is you you kill the producers. You, yeah, you kill off, you kill off innovation. You kill off thought. You 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 know. You'll have people having to eat soylent green because it's people. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's that's definitely true. And you look at uh, Russia's success as far as when they uh, were the USSR. Uh, everything under the control of the government is a. It's a really bad thing, and it turns out bad for a lot of people. I just look at the uh, statistics. <laughs> the uh, statistics for democide in the 20th century: 226 million innocent people killed by government, mm. uh, and that's not counting war casualties. And uh, cultural Marxism has something to do with that. What it do you is the what? Uh, the yeah. uh, dehumanization of society, the uh, uh, drawing away from reality, uh, and things of that nature. And SJWs are professionals. As far as uh, destroying reality as it is, so yeah, ahead, Louis. So what? Like, just to change the subject a little, what are your thoughts on Putin? Because I mean, there are a lot of people that just love him, and I, I, I can't, I can't trust him. There's something about him that it's like. I mean, he's a world leader, so I mean, he has to be corrupt somehow. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, as far as Putin goes, I, I've seen some of the uh, things that have been posted about Putin. 
Um, I, I've seen him being the person to kind of expose the United States for funding the people we're, we're fighting now, which, yeah, excuse me. Um, but yeah, I mean, yeah, he's he's definitely given some speeches where, yeah, he's kind of saying like, the United States is dealing with this this issue, but they created this issue. So Putin's just kind of like kind of the one that's like, you know, I despise these motherfuckers, so I might as well say this. But it, it, as far as it comes from, mm. uh, as far as it is from my um, and Louie, I will apologize, my anarchist perspective, uh, he is a he is a ruler. He is a ruler. And uh, anyone who claims the right to rule over uh, a, a, body, a, a body politic, so to speak, uh, is not good in my book. Mm-hmm. Uh, I will give him props on uh, the, the fact that he's kind of saying, you know, you, you're having this issue in the Middle East, the United States, but you created this issue, so shut the fuck up. Yeah. It's, it's kind of like Trump at this point. It's kind of like, well... This is wrong to say, but I'm going to say it anyways. So in those two regards, as far as like Putin and Trump, eh, I can't hate him for for that reason. I hate, hate him for plenty of other reasons. Yeah. But uh, um, yeah, I, I, I do give uh, Putin some props for uh, the uh, the interview that I watched that he did. So mm-hmm. or the uh, speaking event that he that he did. Yeah, I just think it's uh, a little uh, embarrassing that this dude punked out our. our president i mean i don't like our president but oh god it just shows how fucked we are as a society yeah yeah that's uh that's definitely true uh, uh, i mean unfortunately uh yeah obama's done some very shady things he sent mccain for some ungodly reason to deal with uh, Al Qaeda and ISIS and the groups like that, but um, I don't know. Yeah, Obama's terrible, but uh, as as far as uh, my research back into um, history, I don't like any of them. They're all pretty authoritarian, mm-hmm. and uh, as a libertarian, small L libertarian, um, I don't know. I just don't like any of the things they're doing at this point. Right. I think it'd be it'd be better solved by the free market, but uh, yeah, yeah, that's my 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 position. <laughs> oh, well, the free market is just gonna make people poor. It's just gonna people are gonna be poor, and it's just gonna give too much power to corporations to screw over the little guy. And I've got a response to the statement. Ah, go ahead. <laughs> so w- when it comes to corporations, corporations are fictional entities created by the government so when you look at like the uh 2008 banker bailout Mm -hmm. those were corporations they were corporations but what what they have is (laughs) protection from the state and then their losses are socialized so if you start an llc and you decide to i mean i don't know you decide to make you, you make a bad investment then you know most most of your losses are covered by Recover it on the backs of the taxpayers. Um, corporations are a bad deal. They're definitely a bad deal, and that's where I kind of run into issues with myself. This is like people are like, "Well, I'm voting for Bernie Sanders because corporations are bad," and it's like, I agree with you, but you're missing the fundamental issue here. Yeah, corporations are bad for sure. Yeah, I, I agree with you. Um, but at the uh, <laughs> I guess at the tail end of the story, mm-hmm. corporations are fictional entities created by the state to socialize losses onto the taxpayers. So corporations really aren't an issue if you look at a stateless society. Mm-hmm. And I know that's probably, I don't think that's what your show is, is kind of aligned for, but um, I, I'll, I'll, I'll finish my thought if you'll, if you'll allow me. Go ahead. <clears throat> So yeah, corporations aren't really an issue, and I've had a, I've had a major issue with Bernie Sanders supporters mm-hmm. in the past uh, few months or so, and they're like, "Well, corporations are a problem." He's promised to fix these things, and it's like, "Well, the first problem he have is believing his promises." But well, good, we'll just skip over that part here. When you look at socialism itself, socialism and communism, they are doomed to fail. You look at all the empirical evidence, and you don't have to look at history. You can just look at Venezuela and Greece, for example. Um, Greece has had three bailouts since 2010, I think. Mm. 
It doesn't work. It doesn't work. The only thing that can possibly work is is the free market. Right. Spontaneous yeah. order. People need things. They have uh um everyone has subjective needs. Subjective wants even. No central bank, no government can predict what someone will want at any point in time. It's not possible. And that's why you you have the free market. Nope. There you go. Take that as uh, SJWs. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Government mm -hmm. coercion will not work. Exactly. So anyways, yeah, we've been at this for two hours. I got to knock out. <laughs> so uh, I'd like to thank everyone for listening. I'd like to thank Shane. Uh, God damn it. What's wrong with me today? <laughs> Like to thank, yeah, Shane. Oh, I was right. What the fuck's wrong with me? Yeah, I, I'm Shane. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I'm like, I said Shane, and I'm like thinking I fucked up somehow. Uh, <laughs> I like to thank Shane from Liberty Under Attack. Check out his show live Sundays at 7 p.m. Eastern at libertyunderattack.com. It is a fantastic show. A um, lot of lot of information, you know. You know, you come here. You come here for the dick joke. You go to Shane for the news. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyways, this has been Louis B. And as always, from my house to your house, mahalo. And that's the end of my show. Donk. <laughs>